next theorem is show that sigma x is a non-empty so suppose sigma x is a empty set now we know that the resolvent function resolvent operator that is defined as x of lambda which is equal to x minus lambda e inverse and this function is analytic over rho of x since rho of x is a complement of sigma x with respect to complex number c then it implies rho of x equal to c because sigma x is an empty set so it means rho of x is c it means it is a entire the whole complex numbers we already proved that x lambda is a analytic function in rho of x now rho of x is a entire domain which is a c set of complex number so it means x of lambda is analytic function on c if it is an analytic function on c then it implies x of lambda which is a entire function if x of lambda is a entire entire function again we know that e minus x lambda approaches to e as absolute value of lambda approaches to infinity so in this case in this case by using the concept x the mapping x from x inverse is continuous so it means its inverse is approaches to its inverse as norm of absolute value of lambda approaches to infinity so remember this concept that is in equation number 2 now x minus lambda e inverse which is equal to if we take lambda outside this bracket so we get lambda inverse into x lambda x by lambda minus e so this value can be written as this value is can be written as norm of this value by uh, can be written as because it is a scalar quantity so this value is absolute value of lambda inverse into norm of e minus x by lambda inverse now by using that property if uh, this approaches to identity then its norm approaches to norm of identity that is equal to 0 0 is the identity of numbers so it means this term approaches to 0 as modulus of lambda approaches to infinity if this approaches to 0 then it means this sequence is a this operator is a convergent and convergent operator is a bounded if it is a bounded now from this for any we can find a constant k1 there exists a r greater than 0 such that this norm is less than k for every modulus of lambda greater than r so it is outside the circle this is less than equal to k1 now it implies x of lambda which is less than equal to k1 for modulus of lambda greater than r now taking k2 is the maximum value of x lambda which is a modulus of lambda less than equal to r so if we have some circle so inside the circle inside the circle the maximum value is k2 and outside the circle the maximum value is k1 so we take k is equal to maximum of k1 and k2 then it means the entire the function for entire lambda it is always less than equal to k so it implies x lambda is entire entire and bounded from this it is a bounded we already proved that x lambda is a entire so by lovely theorem we know that if function is entire and bounded then f of z is constant it implies x of lambda which is equal to constant 
also by three we know that the norm of x lambda approaches to zero and here we get it is a constant it means the value of x lambda is always zero for every number so it implies x of lambda is equal to zero because it is a constant also it approaches to zero so x of lambda which is equal to zero hence x minus lambda i into x lambda equal to identity because it is a uh, both are the inverse to each other and e and again this value is zero so from this we get norm of e equal to zero which is a contradiction because norm of e is equal to one if this is a contradiction then our supposition is wrong if our supposition is wrong then sigma x is non empty now after that the new topic is topological divisor of zero now first definition if a b a complex banal algebra and element x belongs to a is said to be topological divisor of zero if there exists a sequence x n in a with the norm of x n equal to 1 such that either x into x n approaches to 0 or x n into x approaches to 0 as n approaches to infinity now the next result before going to next result so these are some important fundamentals the set g what is g g is the set of all regular elements all invertible element of a and also it is a open set and its complement which is a closed subset of complex banal algebra now denote what is z z is set of all topological divisor of zero so our first theorem is prove that z is contained in complement of gc so in order to prove this result so first we take now let x belongs to z then by definition there exists a sequence xn in a with the norm of xn equal to 1 such that x into xn approaches to 0 or xn into x approaches to 0 as n approaches to infinity now our claim is to prove that x belongs to complement of g suppose x belongs to g then it means x is invertible x is regular it implies x inverse exist now x inverse into x into xn approaches to 0 as n approaches to infinity it implies an xn approaches to 0 but norm of xn equal to 1 here xn approaches to 0 so it means norm of xn equal to 0 so which is a contradiction which shows that x does not belongs to g it implies x belongs to complement of g it implies z is a subset of complement of g so that is our result that is a proof of the result now thank you very much